वेलकम बैक इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सी टोकन इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ सी टोकन वी डिस्कस अबाउट स्पेशल सिंबल्स बट बिफोर दैट लेट मी आस्क यू वन क्वेश्चन हाउ टू लर्न सी लैंग्वेज माई डर फ्रेंड्स वी कैन लर्न सी लैंग्वेज इन द सेम वे यू लर्न एनी जनरल लैंग्वेज फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट एस कंसिडर इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज हाउ यू लर्न इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज वी स्टार्ट विथ आल्फाबिट्स देन आल्फाबिट्स आर कंबाइंड टू फॉर्म वर्ड्स दैट इज वी लर्न वर्ड्स देन दीज वर्ड्स कैन बी कंबाइंड यूजिंग ग्रामर रूल्स टू फॉर्म सेंटेंसेस then the sentences can be combined to form paragraphs so this is how we learn english language so if you know good grammar rules you can always create sentences and paragraphs and these sentences or the paragraphs can be combined in a logical manner to create some story but creation of the story requires skill see the story may be story of a movie it may be a motivational lecture or it may be an essay but creation of this particular story requires skill see creation of sentence require grammar rules whereas creation of the story requires skill similarly if you want to learn c language we need to start with c characters the c characters can be combined in a meaningful manner to form what is known as tokens so some of the tokens like keywords consonants etc and these tokens are combined using syntax rules to create instructions or statements so if you are good with your syntax you can write proper c statements or proper c instructions but if you want to write a program for solving a problem you need to know a logical solution for that that is semantics you should know okay so writing program requires skill writing instructions requires syntax rules but if you just know syntax rules you cannot write c program my dear friends for writing c program you should know how to solve problem basic problems if you just know a formula you can write program but for advanced problems you should also know the different design techniques algorithmic design techniques and different ways of combining data together that is data structuring techniques okay so then we can write proper program my dear friend at basic level maybe some formula or some methodology if you know you can write program so writing program require skill similar to writing story in english language requires skill here writing a program for a problem require skill okay so advanced problem solving require not just the programming skill you should also have the skill of data structures and algorithms okay so let us start with c characters my dear friends in c language the letters capital letter a to z are allowed small a to small z are allowed or available the digits 0 to 9 are also taken as or considered as c characters but remember every character is identified by ascii value so for example character a is uniquely identified with ascii value 65 actually we represent characters by writing the character within this single quote okay so this is the character and this is the value associated with it that is called ascii value for every character we are having a unique value which is called ascii value associated with it not only this letters and digits we also have special characters like almost all the characters which are available in your keyword can be used there are also some special characters white space characters like blank horizontal tab vertical tab new line characters etc available my dear friends 
बट वी शुड नो डेफिनेटली द लेटर्स कैपिटल ए टू कैपिटल जेड स्मॉल ए टू स्मॉल जेड एंड डिजिट जीरो टू नाइन टूगेदर विद देयर एस की वैल्यूज इट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वी शुड रिमेंबर दीज एस की वैल्यूज अफकोर्स इट इज वेरी सिंपल सर इफ यू नो एस की वैल्यू ऑफ ए विच इज सिक्सटी फाइव देन बी विल बी सिक्सटी सिक्स सो इन द सीक्वेंशियल मैनर यू कैन फाइंड आउट एस की वैल्यू ऑफ नेक्स्ट लेटर माई डेफ Similarly, for small a ASCII value, if you know which is ninety-seven, then you can know ASCII value of B, C, D, etc. Just add one. Then for zero, the ASCII value is forty-eight. Then for one, ASCII value is forty-nine. And similarly for nine, ASCII value is fifty-seven. So you can easily identify or remember these ASCII values, my dear friends. Okay. Now. one or more characters are grouped to form the meaningful words which we call them as tokens see the token is the basic building block of c program you can call it as the smallest basic unit in c program is token and these tokens are used to build okay the uh, the statements or instructions using syntax words so the standard tokens in c language can be classified as keywords identifiers constants strings special symbols and operators my dear friends the strings and operators will be discussed in more detail later on here we are only going to discuss about string constant only i am just going to tell you what are the operators but we have a separate a uh, topic for operators and expression where we explore operators and expressions in a very very detailed manner so in this particular topic we are going to now discuss about special symbols in the first part of c tokens we discuss about special symbols in the second part we talk about constant of course i introduce strings and operators in the second part in the third part we discuss about keywords and identity so because it is the first part i'll be discussing about special symbols so let us talk about special symbols so first type of special symbols are escape sequence we can also call them as backslash characters see a backslash with some character give rise to some special print effect by changing the meaning of the character that is by escaping the meaning of the characters it gives you special print effect so here backslash n we already used it gives the next line or new line so whenever you find backslash n it represents new line means the remaining part will be printed in the next line backslash t represents the tab character see backslash if you want to print you cannot directly print within the string you have to use backslash backslash to print backslash similarly to print single quote or double quote or question mark we need to use backslash my dear friends see there are some escape sequences which may not be visible in your console applications it may be due to various reasons may be due to uh, the operating system or uh, console settings okay some of these characters may not be visible for example sometimes beep sound you may hear you may not able to hear similarly vertical tab carriage written these kind of uh, some characters you may identify in your console application or you may not able to identify the standard uh, character like new line horizontal tab these things can be visualized in your uh, console application but some of those uh, backslash characters may not be visible in your console application due to various reasons so don't worry about it my dear friends now let us try to get the following output so we start with including stdio.h so that printf function can be used now we have our main function and this is the main function block so we are going to use printf function to get the print effect you want this escape sequence then between escape sequence and meaning you want a gap so let us use tab character 
then you write down meaning and the rest of the statements to be printed in the next line so you use backslash n at the end of the statement keep a semicolon now again printf here you want the effect backslash single quote see backslash cannot be printed directly my dear friends so for getting the effect of backslash you have to use backslash backslash it will print backslash and to get the single quote also we cannot directly print single quote for that we have to use backslash single quote. so this will print backslash and single quote then you want some gap so backslash t then you want to print that single quote single quote now the remaining part you want to print in the next line so you use backslash n but because this escape sequence is having so many characters and here backslash single quote is having few characters there may be miss arrangement so in such cases you can use some more spaces yeah backslash t to make that particular arrangement properly first let us see this then we try to arrange using proper tab characters now the next one for double quote also same story instead of single quote we use double quote and here you want to write double quote so let us write down double quote okay now next you want same thing but with question mark so instead of a uh, single quote we are having question mark so use question mark here then next we are having new line character see actually for n n can be printed directly so you don't need backslash for that so you can write n directly for backslash we have backslash backslash whereas for n n directly and it is new line so you can write new line then again printf statement this time i want backslash t t also printed directly so use directly t then it is a tab character okay if you want you can just use return 0 by default it will be returned to the operating system but it is always good practice to write return 0 so now you return the program let us see the output see my dear friends you may not get the expected output then you have to use appropriate tabs or space characters to get the print effect my dear friends so let us save it and run and see the output see if you observe uh, escape sequence these are printed properly but this meaning and escape sequence they are not printed uh, correctly so what we can do is we can move this uh, single quote uh, that is backslash single quote to right side so we can use a backslash t character for this then this fellow also we can move right for that we can use some more backslash t characters that is tab character so in the beginning of each print let us use backslash t so that it will move to the right they all move to the right and between this fellows let us use some additional tab character so that single quote also move to the right let us use one tab and check what happens if you get the expected print effect fine otherwise you can use some more tab characters my dear friends so save and run the program so you got the expected effect but it has to be little left but you can't uh, get exactly the way you want my dear friends so it depends on again on the compiler and uh, terminals also terminal properties also you got the similar effect hope you understand so this is how we can use the tab characters new line characters and you can print some escape sequences using backslash character that is you cannot directly print them you get the print effect when you use together with backslash character okay so that is the program now the next special symbols are delimiters see delimiters are used for syntax purpose for example colon is used for label like go to label in other places we use this colon semicolon is used for end of statement each statement in c program should end with a semicolon 
then parentheses are used for functions or expressions then square brackets are used for arrays we not introduced it but when you see arrays we will understand then curly braces are used for blocks the curly braces are used for block for example main block or any function block we can use curly braces the hash symbol is used for preprocessor directives we already used hash include hash define etc the comma operator is used for variable delimiters later on we learn to create variables of a particular type so you can create multiple variables by separating them with comma okay so the comma uh, delimiter is used for variable delimiter or used as a variable delimiter so these are some special symbols my dear friend 